Axel, nice to see you here and a warm welcome. You will tell me today who is SweepMe and what are you doing there? Of course. First, thanks, Axel, for the, for the invitation to join this meeting and to give you some introduction to SweepMe. So SweepMe is basically a, a test and measurement platform. Test and measurement is a quite big market. Every tech company that has hardware you will find people that have to create program procedures to call data and to acquire data from, from instruments and to read instrument data from, from several different instruments. And these instruments can come from different vendors. And each company worldwide has to write again and again program procedures. And this basically means a lot of cost, a lot of working hours, and also a lot of nerves because you have to read into the programming manuals of these instruments and every time you write again a new procedure or a new program and if you want to measure something different you have to again start writing a new program so this is really inefficient how it is sourced at the moment and we thought basically it would be nice if we could write a program where each instrument is like a module and each user can combine these modules and these modules can be shared across all users so once an instrument is included Everybody worldwide can include this instrument. So you just download the driver and then you can already use it and, and collect data from this instrument. And that's the idea of SweepMe. Okay. Um, a very easy access to measurement instrumentation and to creating program procedures and program flows. Yeah. Okay. And where does the idea come from? Yeah, the idea is coming from the university. I was a researcher for quite some years. And during, already during my time as a PhD student, I had the trouble that we had a lot of instruments at the Institute. But for each combination of these instruments, you needed a new software. And the one thing you could do is you go to, you take the instrument software from the manufacturer, but this only works with one instrument, exactly the instrument of the manufacturer, but nothing else. So you can also start two softwares to different vendors, but then you have to put the data together, which is annoying. Or you have to write your own software. Or you take a software tool from a friend or a collaborator or coworker, but this is not exactly what you need typically. So you typically wanted to have your own software. So we started to write our own software and we included more and more instruments. And at some point people came and told us, hey, can you all include my instrument? Because it's already quite nice. It would be nice to have even more instruments. So it was growing and growing. And then there was the point that we had so many instruments included that we had to make it really modular and flexible because it was at the beginning more or less hard-coded. But then we changed to a new tool that we invented, which is a sequencer tool, where you can combine these modules for the first time. And then it was possible that everybody was really able to create own procedures just by ready-to-use modules. And this was also the time when people from outside came to us, first startups, and asked us, hey, can you help us with setup? So this was then also the time where we said, okay, let's make an, an additional business. And, and make a company out of it. Which are the business cases in terms of branches? Are there special branches? There are definitely really important branches. So the semiconductor market is one of the markets that is also driving the test and measurement market. So many big companies that are in this test and measurement market are basically companies that supply the semiconductor market with test equipment. And you have a lot of tests to do before you really find your new iPhone or your new smartphone, when you have it in your hands, there are so many chips in that have been tested thousands of hours with testing for stress tests, but also testing for reliability and testing for performance and so on. And also during the research and development, there are many tests have been done with these chips. So a typical task is, for example, that you have a vapor probe where you want to go through chips, your vapor, and you want to combine it with some instruments like for reading voltage and currents to make voltage current characteristics for transistors, for chips, for diodes. And this is a very typical task. And each company is doing a slightly different measurement. So all need the same vapor probe maybe, but they all have different equipment which they use. So this is a really nice use case to make it modular. You include once the vapor probe and then people can combine it with a lot of different equipment. Okay. And do you have already existing projects? Are you working on special projects right now? Yes, we have now about 25 to 30 customers. And the range of customers is very interesting. It starts with the startups and universities, but then it goes also to, to SMEs, so small and medium-sized companies, tech companies, 
here in Germany, but also worldwide. And it goes up to really large corporates, semiconductor corporates that use the software because they have often standard software that can do really the standard tasks, which they do every day. But they also have a lot of these new things or new tasks where they want to develop a new chip or a new sensor and they need a new software. And then they can easily come to us and use our software. So typical things are now really just the vapor probe or the semiconductor market where we do a lot of things with vapor probes and combine it with other instruments. But we have also solar cell companies or research institutes. And what we see now is also that the field of vacuum chamber uh, is getting more and more important. Vacuum chambers are also each institute or company has a very unique a vacuum chamber often with a, a unique combination of sensors and valves. And so they always need somehow a unique software. And so far it's simply very expensive to always write a new software for each chamber. So this is a very interesting field. And what we also see what is coming are robots. Okay. People will incorporate more and more robots into measurement. So you yeah. can make automatic testing, robots getting more and more cheap. And you can now find robots for below 5,000 euros that can go to different X, Y, Z positions and have a rotation head. So it's very easy to use this and to program it now to go to different samples and you make massive testing. And this is also very attractive for SteepMe because you can now easily combine a robot with some measurement equipment and make immediately some mass testing of, 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 your, of your sample. Okay, interesting. And which will be the next steps for you? The next steps is now to handle the growth. So far, we are a, a bootstrapping company, which means we are growing organic. We, we just had some first private investment, and then we are just growing because of the job that we get from customers. And now we're getting larger, and it's now about to organize the growth. We have now first co-workers and have to manage this. So it's also about financing and now a lot of we have to take care about financing. And so it means also to find funding is one of the further parts to stabilize the growth and to organize it. Yeah, that's. Thank you, Axel. That was amazing, really interesting. And it would be nice if we continue one of the next weeks and tell me what is going on, which news are coming from SweepMe and I'm very interested. Then okay, thank you very much, Axel, and see you soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.